Hey babes, welcome and welcome back. It's your girl Midnight Moon and today we're talking BoxyCharm. So we got our BoxyCharm January base box in and I'm just going to share with you guys what I got. Um, we're going to talk a little bit about the products, try the makeup ones on as always, and then just give my final thoughts. So if you guys want to see my variation for the month of January, then just make sure you keep on watching. Please don't forget to subscribe and join my beauty family here on YouTube to see more beauty reviews, tutorials, demos, and more. Don't forget to show your support. Like this video, give it a huge thumbs up, and share it with friends. Also comment down below and let me know if you guys received any of these products in your BoxyCharm subscription. And if you don't have a subscription, then which one do you want to try? Without further ado, let's get into it. Don't give us about paparazzi, baby. You know they always trying to give me a million dollars at the night scene. Disclaimers, this video is not sponsored in any way. But I do have a referral link if you guys want to use it. If you guys want to sign up and are first-time subscribers with BoxyCharm, you can earn 500 points, which is 500 charms or $5 in the BoxyCharm store. So you can use that to purchase products off their site. And I also get 500 too, so it's a win-win. Check out that referral link. It's down below. Reviews are always honest and 100% authentically me because I am me. Because if something doesn't work for me, I'm going to let you guys know. Um, I have oily, acne, or prone skin. I also do have hyperpigmentation. So we don't need anything that's going to mess that up even more. So guys, I definitely always like to review as honestly as possible for you. In case you have my skin type, then maybe these products work for you. But just remember, not all products work the same for everyone. So just keep that in mind. Keep that in mind. Also, sorry for any background noise. Um, I believe the apartment next to me is getting some work done in their apartment. So it might be a little noisy. So onto our box. This is our BoxyCharm January base box. And I've been excited. I've been looking at this on my desk forever. And I just want to say I love BoxyCharm. You pay $27.99 with tax $30 for a value well over, I believe it's like $200 worth of product. So instead of going into Sephora and Ulta, like I'm guilty of, and only coming out with three products for $300, you get five full-size product for just $27. So I love you. Now, although we just signed up in November, I did notice a little change. Wasn't that crazy? I felt like my first box in November was fabulous. I did get a free product, but even besides that free product, what came in the regular box for my variation of that month was amazing. I loved everything. Like everything was like almost, I believe everything was five stars. Um, I didn't get to try out one of the cleansers, I believe. My December box was okay. I was like, okay, I like some of the stuff, but a lot of like more four star products. This month's box for January was so dope, was so amazing. You know how to look into it to see what products not to put on so we could try it on. And we we getting into this box now. So this is the BoxyCharm Refresh. Got a refresh for the new year. And these are some of the products that we got. So let's get into it and start trying these on. So the first product we're going to go into is actually a favorite of mine. Like, guys, you do not know. I love, love, love this. Um, this is the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade. And if you guys actually missed it, it's so funny. This is the story. I got a BoxyCharm Lux box for me from a friend that didn't want her. She had way too many products and just decided to give that month's box away. So I did do a video on that. Check that out here. And we got the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade, but it was too light of a shade. I believe it was medium brown, but I gave it to a friend and I know she's going to love it. She's never tried it and I know she's going to... Mm. I, I love this pomade. That's just how much. That's how much I got to rep it. So it also comes with the Brush 7B Dual Ended Angled Brush. 
Uh, it's a basically dual sided brush with a spoolie and a angled brush tip. The shade I got for this month's box, since it was actually my box curated to me, was ebony. So it's looking more like my eyebrow color, but I'm surprised they didn't give me black because I did write black on my profile. But um, we're going to see how it goes because I use the LA Girl brow pomade right now in soft black and it looks more brown but it looks good on me it still looks very dark to pass for that black so i actually did forget to give my friend the brush last time and i started using it so i'm gonna save this one for her but i have the exact same one which i'm gonna pull out right now so let's talk a little bit more about this product what it says on the pamphlet this dip brow pomade is a full pigment waterproof pomade that can be used to fill in and detail brows the long-lasting buildable formula glides on, dries down completely, and stays put, giving you effortless, natural-looking, textured brows. The Brush 7B is a tapered angled brush with synthetic fibers and is ideal for applying powder and emollient-based products to the brows. Use the brush to create precise hair-like strokes or sweep color through the brow. Use the custom spoolie and to blend product through for a soft, natural-looking finish. So this retails for $39, um, and this is how it looks up close. Like I said, I love Anastasia's Dip Brow Pomade. It's the first product I tried for them, and it's my most loved, but I can't afford it all the time. It's $21, I believe, by itself. Um, I can get my LA Girl one, which is still really good for, I think it's like $7 or something like that. Um, so when I can afford it, I would love this. So I'm really happy I got this in my box. Like, guys, this is what the brush looks like. Uh, this is the one that I already opened. It's a little brownish. You guys can see that shade on camera, but it's very dark. So we're going to check it out right now. First, I'm going to go ahead and tame my brows with some brow gel. This is the European brow groom brow gel in clear um i really like their brow gels i usually use the tinted one if i'm using like a pencil i'm gonna wait till that sets and then we're just gonna start on our brows so i'm just gonna take oh i forgot how soft she is Ooh, i like it i like it i like that it definitely helps for a smoother glide. Oh, that pigment. Also, you might hear my dog in the back. We just recently got a dog, I think about maybe two weeks ago. We got a baby pit. So you're going to hear her playing in the back a lot from now on, guys. Um, she's a little nut. She's only like six or seven months old. When I bought the pomade, I didn't buy the brush with it. So I didn't know about the brush really until I got it in my BoxyCharm Lux. And I've got to say, this brush was already good enough. But with this pomade, it really does make it a lot more precise and easier to do my brows. Like, that was quick. All right, guys. So this is how it's looking. I'm going to go ahead and cut my eyebrows and set my eyebrow base for... The next product so I'm gonna go ahead and use my Loris Beauty concealer brush and the covergirl outlast extreme wear concealer in 845 warm beige I'm gonna do this off-camera and then we're gonna get into this palette so this is how we're looking with the brows we got a nice base on so let's get into the next product we're dipping into the Wander Beauty Wondrous Escape eyeshadow palette so it features hyaluronic acid to help skin retain moisture and rosehip seed oil to help smooth out dry skin. This palette includes a mix of neutral and bold colors with shimmer, satin, and matte finishes that are crease-proof for all-day wear. It retails for $42. So this is the outside packaging. Oh my gosh, the people next door is ridiculous with this construction. 
someone had to come bust down the door because I don't know what happened, but something happened. I ain't trying to be nosy. Something happened. And they had to break down their door. So now they're trying to repair it. And it just sounds crazy. I'm sorry, guys. But this is how it looks up close and personal. I love the detail on it. It is gorgeous. Y'all know Midnight Moon It's a scenery for anything blue. So I love midnights. I love nightshades. I love beaches. I love the water. I'm. This is a great palette. And I'm so excited. Let's swatch... Let's do Enchanted, we'll do a Shimmer, we'll do Sea Glass, which is the one I'm going to use today, and let's do Santorini, which is this one right here. So we have an idea of all three textures. We have the Satin, which is this one, we have the Shimmer, which is this one, and then we have the Matte Shade. So they feel really creamy, buttery. And they're super pigmented. I love how that shimmer shade looks. And the satins are gorgeous. Sorry if my hands look very dry on camera. My eczema is like ridiculous right now. It's been going insane. Um, I just put lotion on like three times. But I keep washing my hands because I have makeup on them. And I can't stand when I get makeup all over the place. Um, we're going to get into this palette now. I'm going to take the Loris Beauty. One of the Loris Beauty makeup brushes. I have to see which one it is. I forgot the name of this. But it's an eyeshadow brush. We're going to go ahead and dip into Sunkiss. We're going to dip into this baby right here. And we're going to just use that as our transition shade. I hope this doesn't have too much fallout because it does seem, it did seem like it did. Okay, maybe not. We'll see as we keep going. I like how it's packing on. Very beautiful. Very light on the eyes. Easy blend. So for those of you who are like, why are you going so high above the crease? It is because I have uh, slightly hooded eyes, so with my eyes you don't get to see a lot of the color, or all of the color I should say. So I'm going a little bit above the crease, and then I'm going to be doing some liner art with my uh, aqua liners, so we're going to see how it goes. So that's pretty much it. I'm going to go ahead and do my other eye off camera, and come back and get into the next shade. So the next shade I'm going to go into is Nude Beach, this one right here. And we're going to still do that along our transition, but more towards the inner corner. You're going to see what I'm saying as we're doing it. Other eye, and then we'll be right back. So next I'm going to take a little bit of the shade Overnight. And we're just going to use that to deepen the crease just a little bit. First, we are going to cut our eyes with a little bit of concealer to make a half crease. And then we're going to apply that shade Enchanted, this one right here, um, right along the mid-center of our eye. And then we're going to add the blue, which is the sea glass. Um, we're going to add that right in the inner corner, but not all the way in the corner. I'm going to show you what I mean. Next, I'm taking another Loris Beauty brush, and I'm going to go ahead and go into the Enchanted shade. And we're going to pack that on the inner lid and then the sea glass shade and pack that on on the inner corner.
I love, love, love how pigmented the shimmers are. They are absolutely stunning. Um, they look beautiful. Like, I'm obsessed. So, now we're going to get into doing the bottom lash line. And we're just going to keep it real simple. I'm going to go in with Enchanted and Sunkissed. We're going to mix those and use that as our under eye. So the last shade we're going to get into this look to finish off the eyeshadow palette is the Moonlit shade right here. We're going to use that for our highlight and our inner corner. So right here, just a little bit. And right on our brow bone. All right, guys, so my first thoughts on this palette is I absolutely freaking love it because, like I said, it is super buttery. It's super, super pigmented. I thought there was going to be a lot of fallout, but there actually wasn't. I don't see any on my skin. I see a tiny, tiny, tiny bit of the glitter from the blue, and you can get kind of creative with this with the shimmery colors, so I like thumbs up. We're going to get into the next product. But first, I am going to go ahead and finish the rest of my makeup off camera. So I'm pretty much going to finish off my face. Um, and then we're going to get into those. All right, guys. So this is how the look is coming together. And now we just have our lips. And to get into the rest of these products. Um, so real quick, if you guys are interested in the liner I use, this green liner. This is in the shade Seafoam. I am an affiliate with Dollar Lash Club. And they have some amazing UV cake liners. They're water-activated liners. They wash off with water. They go on with water. Um, they're really cool and I actually have the whole bundle. I've been wanting to play around with these some more. So we did today um i hope you guys like it let me know in the comments if you like this look so far if you use my link or code which will be linked down below in the description box you guys can get a percentage off your purchase at dollar lash club with no additional cost to you being transparent i also earn a small commission to help support my channels now let's go ahead and finish up this look we're gonna go ahead and do our lips and get into the last two products makeup products of this box so the first one we're going to get into is the lip liner. This baby right here, this is the Mellow Cosmetics Gel Lip Pencil. It retails for $15, um, and this is what it says. This gel-formulated gel lip pencil glides on fluidly and adheres instantly with a matte finish. Define your lips with an instant release of rich, saturated color, long-wearing and transfer-proof, cruelty-free, paraben-free, and vegan. So really cool. Um, I'm excited. I love lip products. I love lip liners. I love lipsticks. This is how the packaging looks up close. And this is the pencil. We got the shade Rose. So I'm going to go ahead and line my lips. Wow, this feels really smooth and creamy. It glides very easily and it does feel like it's getting more matte as it's drying down i like it so i'm gonna get into the next product which is a lipstick so that's why i said i had to wait the lips for last so the last product we have in our boxy charm is this baby right here it's another matte lippy product this is the context skin matte lipstick antioxidants and botanical oils provide nutrients that condition and protect skin from free radical damage lips are left supple and moisturized with a velvety matte finish this creamy formula glides on and pampers lips with intense hydration provides a full coverage rich demi matte look without the dryness 
and this retails for $20. This is also a new brand to BoxyCharm, so I'm excited. Um, let's open this baby up. This is the packaging. Really simple, basic, modern, luxury at the same time. Same thing with the actual lipstick. I love simplistic packaging. Sometimes you don't need to go all out. And this is in the shades Tears Are Falling. So I'm going to show you guys up close what it looks like. That's such a pretty shade. I hope it goes well for this look. I might top it off with a gloss just to go better. Um, so let's see. Oh, this is a nice color with this. I might not need to top it off. I'm just gonna blend that a little bit more. But there we go. I'm still debating, should I add gloss? I think I might, cause I just wanna be extra. So I love the color and I love this as a matte lipstick, but right now I do want to do a glossy look. So I'm going to go ahead and put some just regular plumping gloss. Also, I'm using the Pout Bomb um, from Makeup Revolution. The last product we have is this baby right here. And this is the Dermalect Cosmeceuticals Revitalite Professional Eyelid and Dark Circle Corrector. Powered by multi-peptides and tightening agents, this eye treatment targets puffy eye bags, dark under eye circles, and droopy eyelids. The light diffusing pigments instantly blur perfections and conceal damage, while the smoothing and soothing cool tip applicator helps stimulate circulation, resulting in instantly fresh and rejuvenated eyes. So this was the most expensive product out the box. This was $59. So we're going to see how well this works. I don't really have um, a lot of eye bags or uh, dark circles. I do get a little puffiness in the morning. So we'll see how it works for that. Um, especially if I don't get sleep, my eyes are very puffy. But I don't really tend to deal with a lot of the dark circles that come with it. Um, I think it's a really cool product. Um, it says it's a 5-in-1 advanced eye treatment. Yeah, if you guys want to see skincare reviews, then please check my Instagram. I've really started to get into skincare reels and textures and ASMR. So definitely stay tuned over there on my Instagram for some skincare goodies uh, for BoxyCharm and just skincare and other makeup inspiration in general. All right, guys. So now on to the value of the box. This January BoxyCharm retailed out to 175 dollars that was our variation i think it's a really good box i got some products that i really am gonna use like on a daily basis the anastasia beverly hills pomade absolutely obsessed um and i would honestly have to give pretty much all these products five stars i didn't really have any complications or any problems not even slight downfalls so this is a really good box January's box. It's a thumbs up for me. So that's pretty much it for this video guys I hope you all enjoyed it again show your support Please like share subscribe hit that bell so you don't miss out on new videos And if you did like this look and want to see more boxy charm videos Then just make sure you leave a comment and let me know That's it for this week guys. We will see you back here again next week as always on Thursday and as always y'all stay beautifully awesome Later.